Hello, hello, my hunts. How you doing? This is your handful mama. I am so glad you guys came back to visit my channel. Today I will be making, first time on my channel, my spinach wrap, turkey meat, vegetable, mozzarella, quesadilla for you guys. I'm going to show you guys what ingredients I will be using. As you can see, I have my turkey meat on the back of the stove, still with a little steam, browned up already. You can use hamburger meat if you prefer. Also, I will be using me some lime. I just cut these down, peeled off the skin, rinsed them off. Also, I'll be using some of my Tajin seasoning, some garlic powder. My olive oil is already in the skillet. I will be using some onions and also I will be using some of these grape tomatoes. And my spinach wraps that I pick up from Aldi's. Okay, you guys. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and season my turkey meat with some garlic powder, maybe about four teaspoons. And then I'm going to go in with some of this Tajin seasoning. It has a little kick to it, so I'm not going to use a lot. So I'm going to use about maybe half a teaspoon to a whole teaspoon. That was about a half a teaspoon. So I'm going to go ahead and get that stirred in. And if you haven't tried that Tajin seasoning, I like that Tajin, Tajin seasoning on a lot of things that I make. It has a really good kick, a good flavor. Sometimes I sprinkle a little bit on my fruits, on my meats. But I'm only using two of these seasonings tonight because... I don't want my turkey meat to be overpowering because I am using those onions and those onions are going to give it some good flavor. I'm just going to stir it up and let that stay on low heat until I'm ready to add it to my, on my wrap. So my hunts, comment down below if you like quesadillas and comment down below if you have had it on a different wrap besides the tortilla wrap. Oh, they sell a lot of different wraps these days and I like to take advantage and I like to buy those spinach wraps. Also, they have the tomato basil. So you are getting a lot of healthy ingredients just in the wrap alone. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn my eye up on the front with my olive oil in it. And I have around about maybe two to three teaspoons of olive oil. And these are, like I said, my tomatoes and onion. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Oh, something fell in the skillet. I'm going to go ahead and start just putting, cutting my onions up in the skillet. So these guys can start frying up. This is another quick dish, healthy, not expensive at all, that you can make for your family. If you're trying to change up your diet or or game night, or just uh, any day. Any day you want to, you know, make it in your kitchen. So I'm just cutting down some onions. And I have a, a medium onion that I've cut down already that I showed you guys. And I'm not going to do the whole onion, but I want to get enough. Because there's a lot of people in the house that is not going to want the onions. I'm not going to do a whole put down that big one there. And then I'm going to go in with my every, well, great, these are the great tomatoes. 
They have the cherry tomatoes as well. And I'm just going to slice them in half. That one dropped off. Dropped in the skillet. I was trying to take that little end off, but that's okay because they've been washed really, really good. And this is how it's looking. And you see that tomato in there. Okay. Let me turn this out up a little more because I want these tomatoes and I want those um, onions to go ahead and start frying up in the olive oil. I'm going to make sure I cut the other tomato before I get it in there. Slicing my tomatoes in half. Take off that little end. And if you want to, you can use whatever kind of tomato you like. I just wanted to go ahead and use these great tomatoes because they have like a little more sweetness to them. And I know that sweetness will blend in with those onions. And that is just going to be really flavorful. Have a good flavor to it. I'm just over here cutting these all the way down. I'm cutting them in half. And then I'm cutting them in half again. Cutting off that little end. So you guys comment down below you what kind of tomato you guys like to use. Do you ever just eat those great tomatoes on your um salad or the cherry tomatoes? I love these little tomatoes. They're just great to just sit down and eat for like a snack and drink your cold bottle of water, you know. So we have both of these in the skillet. Go ahead and cut up the rest of my half here. Have about two more. Turn this out up some more because I want these to go ahead and start sauteing down. They are so good already. And these little tomatoes on the smaller side, so you have to take time with them. I'm just going to let these guys cook up in that olive oil. And I don't need any seasons on these because these onions will flavor this little mixture really, really good because those onions, they also will start having sweetness coming out of them as I saute them down. And also those tomatoes, they're a little, just a little tad sweet. So we're going to have a mixture of flavorful, flavor, oh, they were <laughs> flavorful onions and tomatoes all together. Comment down below if you guys get tongue twisted sometimes. <gasps> I wonder why, you know, that is. Are we trying to pronounce the words too quick or... You know, why we get like this sometimes? Why y'all think we get tongue twisted sometimes? So if you can see, those tomatoes are kind of changing from that dark red to like a orange little texture. That's because all of that sweetness is coming through and all of that sweetness that was in the tomato it's coming out and it's mixing up well with those onions. I'm going to get up just a little more. And the last thing I'm going to add is my lime. I'm just going to squeeze that lime in there the best I can. And that lime is going to just give it 
that extra pop that it needs. With this sweetness and that little tang. Boy, this is going to be really delicious. I'm going to go ahead and just save that line because I think that was enough. Oh, that smells good. I want to get those onions and tomato saute down just a little more. So while that's sauteing a little more, I'm going to grab my towel. Like a white towel. How am I going to doing today? How is your week going? I'm hoping it's going well. And everything right back down. And while that is going, I'm going to go ahead and put on my hand off. I'm going to go ahead and put on my, um, I'm going to go ahead and put on my wrap. These are the wraps that you guys can get a good look at them. Turn it around upside down. Spinach wrap you can get from all these. Just turn those tomatoes and onion down just a little. They smell so good, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get this open up. And while that's finished sauteing, I can be getting it wrapped in the skillet with just a little drop of olive oil because I want to brown it. This is my olive oil that I pick up from all this. Let me let you guys see it real good. It's uh, the big jug that I pick up. Big jug from Aldi. Not Aldi. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that, you guys. Not Aldi. I pick it up from Sam. Because I always like to tell everyone where I get all of my items from. Just in case you guys want to, you know, pick it up as well. Yeah, these are coming to the consistency that I need them. Ooh, they frying up really, really good and smelling extra delicious. And I know it's going to be extra delicious with that little lime. Add it in with those onions and that, those great tomatoes. They are so delicious. I'm going to turn my eye off just a little bit so I can start browning. I got a little too much oil in this skillet, so I'm just going to pour it on this. Pour a little bit of that olive oil back in with those tomatoes and onions. But it's already olive oil in here anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and... Get my wrap out. I'm going to show you how it looks. This is how it looks before I put it in the skillet. And I'm going to, hope you guys can see, I'm going to lay it in the skillet. And I'm just going to turn it around just a little bit so I can get that olive oil on the bottom of it. And then I'm going to flip it over. So it can be covered in that olive oil all together. And okay, while that is starting to brown, I'm going to turn my eye up just a little bit. And while that is starting to brown, you don't need to brown a lot because you don't want it to be on the really crunchy texture. So when you get ready to cut into it, 
you don't have to worry about it being too hard to cut. But you do want to get that brown, light brown on top of it. You want to toast it up a little on each side. Usually I will put mine in the oven. If you guys, I'm ready to eat, so I'm going to just try to do this quickly. We're going to let these guys stay on. This is how they're looking. Oh, they smell so good. Let them stay on and let them cook down for maybe another minute or so. Because when you bite into those onions and those tomatoes, you don't want them to be really crunchy. You just want to be just a little... Just a little crunch. I don't want mine raw. So that's why I'm cooking them down and put that lime in there, that top. All that extra flavor and delicious. Delicious. Delicioso. I think that's Dora. The kids watch that Dora, the Explorer. And I think she said delicioso. This is going to be a delicious, delicious also. I think that's what you said. <laughs> okay. On the back here, I'm going to turn my meat off. Because it is, it was basically just back here. It's just on the back, just staying warm. But I'm going to turn it off because I don't want it to stick to the skillet. Yeah, it's not stuck. To the skillet, so that's great. Okay, let me check this. I probably need to get something for this. Flip it over. I'm trying to burn my hand. Uh, I'm spatula here. Give it a good old rinse off. I'm telling you, the kids even love these so And then the great thing about it is they love the spinach wrap. You know, kids don't like to eat spinach, broccoli, none of that stuff. But they love this wrap because they it's kind of similar to like a burrito. You know, they love, they used to go to Taco Bell so much. And they love those burritos that they sell. But I just started making my quesadillas, burritos, all this stuff at the house to save more money. And I know what I'm putting in it. And it, it doesn't take that long. And I'm also going to use some mozzarella cheese, you guys. I didn't mention that, but I will be using some mozzarella cheese as well. But I love to bring these videos to my home. So, I mean, who don't want to save? Everyone wants to save. I know. I can speak for myself. I love to save. I'm going to go ahead and take these off and turn it off. And this is exactly how I want them to look. Exactly. Let me see if this is brown. It, yeah, exactly. This is how I want this as well. It's a little brown on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. Those tomatoes right there. While this is finished browning up, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. It just has like a little brown on it, but I want to get a little more brown on the bottom. I don't want it to be real wimpy. I want it to be able to stand up, kind of, you know, with a good thickness to it. So when I add everything on it, I will be able to cut it just like I want. 
And I'm going to squish this over here. But this eye is still a little hot. Let it go ahead and brown this up. Now this eye. I'm gonna give it a little smash so it's gonna get brown. And I think that's gonna be good because I'm gonna go ahead and start adding everything. And the first thing I'm going to add is, excuse me, I'm going to get my mozzarella cheese out. And you can pick up mozzarella cheese from Walmart or your local grocery store. I'm just going to start layering my cheese, mozzarella cheese. And this is going to put maybe about not even a whole teaspoon. Well, that's about a teaspoon and a half. About a te no, that's about a teaspoon. So I'm just going to do just a little on the bottom. Just a little sprinkle on the bottom because I'm going to add some more. Just a few. Okay. Turn it out down. Now I'm going to just spoon in my turkey meat. Going to layer it on the top here. You can put as much as you want, but I'm just probably going to do like a half a cup because this is going to make plenty. Spread it all the way across. If you lose some on the side, just put it back in inside. And one thing about that turkey meat that I love, you guys, it is after you have cooked it and drained it, it comes out like it has like a dry consistency, and I love that. Because it's not greasy. I'm not putting the grease in my body. And I really like that with the turkey meat. And I really buy the turkey meat a lot. That's basically the only thing that I buy. Is the turkey meat. Okay, I got to spread it around. Let me just do a little more. Try to get those edges. So that bite has that meat all the way through. And then I'm going to... Go ahead in with those Look at those onions and peppers you got. Wow. I just want to take a spoon with this right now and just eat it like that. I'm just going to spoon it on top of the turkey meat mixture. And make sure it's just getting everywhere on it. Use all your onions and everything. So you'll get that in every bite. And you guys, when I make these recipes, I always say that I've been cooking, I know, at least 30 years. And I just come up with these recipes myself. I don't look at other channels to come up with this because you guys probably never saw this before. If you have with these same ingredients, I will be shocked. Because I don't like to be a copycat. I like to try to bring my own ideas to my channel. And I, you know, hope to gain subscribers from, you know, new ideas and stuff like that. So I just really hope people appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to let you guys see how this is looking so far before I put the extra cheese on it. This is how it's looking. 
Okay. Now I'm going to grab, move this out the way. And I'm going to grab me another skillet. Just over here at the sink. I always have to make sure my dish, even when I wash them, I still have to make sure they're clean before I put anything in them. It's just something that I always do. And this is my OD, so I like it and I'm going to keep using it. <laughs> I love my skillet. It's wide and I can cook a lot of stuff in it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get in that other um, wrap for the bottom, or well, actually the top of the quesadilla. I'm just going to get it in there and I got that eye up. And we'll get that brown. And while that is browning, I'm going to close up my spinach wraps over here. I like to work as I go. I always have to work as I go. I hate to do a lot of stuff when I'm done. And I'm going to go ahead and add in the rest of my cheese. My mozzarella cheese. Now, if you want to do mozzarella, pepper jack, American, be my guest. But you already have a little spice from that Tajin seasoning. And then you have some kick from that lime. And also, you have kick from your onion. So, this is the way I do it. So, it don't be overpowered. You know, don't have that over, overpowering effect when you bite into it because I love my food to be seasoned good have that good spice but I do not like it to be too much where I can't enjoy it because it seems like it's a waste of time if you can't enjoy it okay I got the cheese on there and that's going to melt up and only thing we'll be waiting on is our wrap over here to get finished. And I didn't put any olive oil on this side. And the reason why I didn't put none on, or under that wrap is because the other one I already had the wrap. The olive oil under the wrap, I'm sorry. The other one I already had that under there, so that's why I decided not to put it under this wrap because I don't want it to be just real. Uh, you know, have too much oil on it. I want this one to be a little more dry than the other one. So that is melting up, but I'm going to switch eyes. This one is not really... This one, I just turned it on so it wasn't hot. But I'm going to switch eyes and let you guys see. This one is just going to be browning up here. Let you guys see every little step. And it shouldn't take long. Because I've turned it up like middle ways. Go ahead and get this guy together. And while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and grab my plate. Boy, those onions smell so good. It's like calling my name, Handful Mama. I'm coming. Like those onions, boy. Oh, my name, they smell so good. Go ahead and get this turned. I don't want it to stick. Put this back in the pantry because I'm done with that. Put my little line 
back in the refrigerator in case I need it for something else. And this oil. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little olive oil because it's acting like it want to stick. And I don't want it to stick, so I'll just add a drop. Just a real a drop. Don't stick. Now, if you have your eye on low, it shouldn't try to stick at all. This is my OD. <laughs> oh. Got to add a little oil to it. Because nowadays people have those, uh, all of those non stick fillets and all of this stuff that you can buy. So, but on those olders, you're going to have to add, you're going to have to add to a little oil on them for those older skillets. So that's what I did. Just gonna turn it around. And it's not, y'all probably say, well, how can you turn it around? It's not really, really hot. The eye is probably like on a uh, real low. And my cheese is melted over here. I'm gonna bring it back and let you guys see it. Let me see if this brown. Kind of like flipping a pancake. And keep turning because I don't want it to get too uh dark and too hard in texture. And I think that's great right there. So what I'm going to do is get this one right here and just put it on top of this. I'm going to bring it back and let you guys see it. You move this out the way. I just put it on top of here on the other layer that I had with the cheese and all. Everybody know usually how the quesadilla is the process that it takes. And then now since everything's together, I'm just going to smash it so that cheese can melt all the way through. Make sure your quesadilla is kind of, you know, you can put, put a little smash on it to make sure nothing is falling out and it's all the way together. So I'm going to flip this bad boy. Count of three. One, two, three. Flip. That was a great flip, you guys. I'll let you guys see how it's looking. This is how it's looking. And it's ready to serve up. I'm gonna take it out. Make sure the cheese is melted. Pretty sure it is. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it, transfer it to my plate. I'm going to move this out of the way because I'm done with it. I'm going to go ahead and cut this for you guys. Give me just a second. Wrench my knife off.
put this back so I can cut it. In front of you guys. Y'all hear that crunch? It sounded really, really good, you guys. Can't wait to taste that tomato with that lime and onions mixed together. I really can wait. Now, like I said, you can if you want to, you can instead of turkey meat, you can use the hamburger meat. If you want to do chicken, you can. It's up to you. By the time I'll put down my chicken for quesadillas and burritos. And this makes plenty. I failed to mention that it makes plenty. You can cut these sizes down even smaller if you have smaller children. But this right here made three, four, five, six. And like I said, you can make them in smaller portions if you would like. And they can be like a bite-sized appetizer if you want it to be. Let me get that cut right. Now, if you want this to be an appetizer, if you're having a part or something, this would be perfect. Look at that cheese. But you guys, this is how it's looking. Wow. I'm going to make sure this cut all the way through. I'm pretty sure that you are going to enjoy this. And I'm hoping they don't notice it's onions on it. I gotta talk quiet so they don't hear me. Hear me be so ticky sometimes. This one cut all through. I think it's the tomato that's kitchen in between. That's what it was, the tomato, but I'm gonna scoop that tomato up as well so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how this is looking and this is how it looks and it smells so good you guys you can see that tomato right there that melted cheese this is going to be so so good you guys you guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel Please comment. I'm just eating a piece of that hamburger that fell out. It's good with the tomato. So you guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Please like. Please comment. Please share with every, every, everyone so your handful mama can get just grow, grow, grow. Don't forget to keep on your notification bell because your handful mama will be dropping more exciting videos for you guys. For you guys, for you guys. I will see you later, my huns, in the next video.